Well, hi everybody, this is Angelo Quinones, and this is the uh, third to last or the second to last study. Um, the other two um, studies will be of, of the Greek Septuagint and a rendering uh, of this uh, of these verses. Okay, so we're going to check out the Greek Septuagint. I want to really check that out. Now, we saw in our previous studies the Jehovah and Jehovah. I mean, over here in Zechariah chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, it's very unique that this is in verse 8 and 9 in Hebrew. In my Hebrew Bible is verses 12 and 13 of Zechariah chapter 2, that Jehovah sent Jehovah. You understand what I'm saying? It says over here, uh, thus says, okay, the Lord, okay, um, ki ha amar Yahweh, uh, a Lord of hosts, okay, sabaot, okay, after glory or achar kabod, okay, shalachani, uh, uh, he has uh, has he sent me unto and that's El. We saw that the nations. Okay, so we'll stop there for now. Okay, Hagoyim. Now um, let's skip the rest of it. Okay, because time is, is. I mean, we can go on forever looking at the Hebrew constructions. You know, it's a lot of stuff here. So let's let's get to brass text. And then it says four it says key again. I think this is verse first nine. Key again four. Okay. Um, uh, it says over here, okay, um, behold, and as uh, he, uh, chin, ni, okay, chin, ni, okay, behold, okay, I will shake, and as uh, me, ni, okay, or uh, uh, me, ni, okay, uh, and then it has over here et, that is not translated. It's the first. It's the same thing going on in Genesis uh, one one, and then uh, hand uh, my hand. Okay, okay, yadi. You see, that's what I was saying. That I was saying that that the the e can show possession. Okay, and it's a showing possession. It's my hand. It's not somebody else's hand. It's my hand. Yadi. Okay, yadi. Uh, um, on them it says over here. Okay, a le hem. Okay, the M is making that plural, them. And then it goes on to say, okay, and they shall be, and they shall be, ve ha, uh, it says over here, ve ha you. Okay, ve ha you. Okay, and um, so, and that means that. And then a, a spoil, okay, uh, shala. And then uh, to their uh, servants, okay, to their servants, uh, le, uh, le, and then uh, of uh, the hem. And then it goes on to say, you shall know, okay, you shall know, and you shall know, actually, and you shall know, okay, and that, and that's a key again, okay, now where, where do I have to go over here, that, check this out. That the Lord, okay, Yahweh, Tetragrammaton, the same thing that we saw, Yod, He, Vav, He, or Hand, Behold, Nail, Behold. That's the, those, those are the meanings of the letters of the Tetragrammaton. Of hosts, okay, Sabaot, okay, has sent, Shalachani, has sent, okay? You see? Shalachani has sent me actually has sent me shalachani okay shalachani you see the the me at the end of the of the hebrew what so we saw okay that in verse eight that jehovah is speaking it's indisputable that jehovah is speaking okay the prophet designates this as uh, 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 this being as being jehovah okay ki uh amar yahweh for thus says whom the Lord of hosts he even gives him a, 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 an adjective, okay, describing him of hosts, okay, sabaot. For thus so, so and, and then and then it says over here, okay, okay, has he sent me? Okay, so right here is the beginning statement or the begin the, the beginning quotation of of Yahweh. He begins to speak here. Shalachani. Has he sent me? Jehovah is saying that someone sent him. 
And then when you go on to, to read the, the following verse, verse 9 of chapter 2, of Zechariah, you see who sent him. The Lord of hosts has sent me. It says over here. Okay? Uh, it says over here, uh, um, the Tetragrammaton, like I said before, Yahweh, okay, and then Sabaoth for of hosts, and then you see uh, has sent, and it's really has sent me, okay, has sent me, okay, Shala Chani. Now, uh, in the remaining portion of this study, I want to check out the Paleo Hebrew and check out the Tetragrammaton there with you guys, okay. Now, I hope I didn't stop the recording. Okay, let me see if I did. I hope I didn't. No, I did not. Very fortunate. Now, let me see what, what's the Paleo Hebrew, though. Let me see. Okay, um, I think that the Paleo Hebrew is in this app, I think. I, I don't know. Let me see it. No, it's not here. This is not the Paleo. Let me see if it's the Paleo Hebrew. Let me see. Let me see here. Okay, wait for a second now. Okay, that's not that's not the Paleo Hebrew though. That's not the app that I'm, not, that I'm talking about. Let me see if I can find. It. I hope I didn't extract it. You know. Okay, so I have that uh, Hebrew app there. Okay, parallel Hebrew uh, 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 Greek. Let me see. Could it be this one over here? I'm just guessing, and it's not that one. Let me see. It's a shame because I had a I had a Paleo Hebrew uh, app here, and I wanted to check out the Hebrew with you guys. Now, could it be this one here? Let's check this one out. Could this be the Paleo? Okay, let's check this out. Well, this says Hebrew Greek, so let's see. Okay, I mean, um, oh, this is Hebrew, oh, the Hebrew New Testament, but I don't think. Well, let me see parallel Hebrew. Uh, Old Testament. Okay, let's check that out. It might be it. Okay, let's check out um, Zechariah. I hope this is it. But if it's not, then we're going to get to the Greek Septuagint. And then maybe I can find it in, in a larger, you know, and, and do that uh, in a larger study. Okay. Okay, Zechariah. I hope I, hopefully it is there, though. It would be such a shame if it's not. Chapter 2. Okay, yeah, it's right here. Good. Now, I, I don't think I could put it sideways. No, but okay, well, we'll check it out. Okay, um, so we have um, chapter two. Let's go to verse eight. Let's see if it's in verse eight, though. Okay, okay, that's verse two. Okay, so we'll look, we'll check out the Paleo Hebrew form of the Tatagamaton. Okay, let me see over here. Let's go on. It's very easy to read. Okay, so verse 5, Paleo Hebrew is very easy to read. Also, you just have to know the sounds of the symbols. Okay, let's see here. Wait for a second. Paleo is the ancient form of Hebrew. It's really, it is really Hebrew. What we have in our Bibles now, nowadays, okay, is not really Hebrew. Yeah, this is it right here. Actually, it's in verse, um, it's the same thing. Well, this is not Paleo Hebrew right here, what I'm reading. Um, but um, but um, uh, this is Paleo, right? Wait a minute. This is Paleo right here, okay? Um, the Paleo Hebrew, okay? That's the Tetragrammaton right there. Now, um, now, uh, let's read a little bit here. It says, Ki Cho Amar Yahweh. Okay, now let's check the uh, Sabaot. Sabaot, okay. All right. So we already saw this uh, form. Uh, Babylonian script, uh, which we call Hebrew. So let's check out the Paleo Hebrew of of of, of this. Okay, now Paleo Hebrew um, um, before five hundred and eighty five BC. Okay, this is what this is what. Listen, this is what Moses wrote. Okay, now of course he didn't. This, this is not. This is he didn't write Zechariah, but this is what I'm talking. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That you know Moses wrote this stuff. Now the, the the thing is that it have to go like this because you know that's the that's you know. All right, so you have over here. You have over here. Okay, let's check this out. You have over here. Okay, um, you have over here. Ki ha. What do you have? Well, the, 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 listen. This verse comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten floors. It's a ten-story building. I'm beginning at the top right of the tenth floor. Okay. You understand? Right where it says paleo, okay, to eight. 
So you have the key, which means um, four. Okay. Now the key, it looks like a uh, office is IK, doesn't it? Though, so we copied the 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 cough, the he the Hebrew uh, paleo cough. There's just no doubt about it. And then the the yod, okay, um, is um, here. And so you have uh, you have key. Okay, you have key. Now um, there's no diacritics underneath this and stuff like that. Then you have call. Okay, and then um, and that's a that's a cough with a hay this time. Okay, with a hay. This is a Paleo Hebrew. And the hay looks like a flag almost, right? Doesn't it look like a flag? It looks like, looks like a flag. You understand what I'm saying? So you see that in the word ho or uh, thus. Now Amar, okay, is on the ninth floor. Okay, uh, just below the tenth floor, the final floor, if you will. And so you see something that looks like an A? It is an A, actually. It's a copycat from this Paleo uh, Hebrew form. We just uh, turned it around and, and shaved off the edges and made it into A. So, um, A, Mar. The next looking letter, okay, is an M. It looks like an M, actually. Okay? That's, the, that's typifying water. Okay? Now, the A or the Aleph is typifying a goat's head. Okay, a goat's head. You understand what I'm saying? And so you have the R after this, and so you have said, uh, or says, Amar. Okay, now let's look only at the tetragrammaton here because I don't know if I have a lot of time. Wait for a second. I, I have like two, uh, three minutes left. Now, on the, on the ninth floor, I hope I didn't say second floor, but on the ninth floor, we have the tetragrammaton being a second word on the ninth floor. Okay, remember you read a Hebrew from uh, uh, from right to left. So you have the Yod, okay, which um, was found in the word key. Okay, this is the, the Y. Okay, and then you have the He, right? We saw that in the, in the word for thus, okay? And then you have the nail uh, letter, which is the Vav or the Wow. I mean, I don't care how you pronounce it. I'm not going to be picky about that right now. And then you have the He um, uh, after this. Okay, so you have Yod, He, Vav, He. The Tetragrammaton is here. Let me poke the bear. Let me poke it. That's the tetragrammaton. Right, right, um, let me put it on the top. That's the tetragrammaton right, right on the top. That is the tetragrammaton. That is the tetragrammaton. You understand what I'm saying? Now, if, it, if, if the, he says, the writer says that the Lord is saying something. Thus says the Lord. Now, the Lord gives his message and continues to give, give his message, okay, in verse 9, okay? And he said, um, Shalachani, in that verse, verse 8. Now, um, in the end of this verse, okay, the Tetragrammaton appears again, okay? Okay? It appears again. Um, they, then you will know that the Lord has sent me. Okay, then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me. Now, um, has sent me is on the second floor. Shalachani is right there. Okay, sheen, lamet, which is a shepherd's hook, is a learning instrument, if you will. And then uh, shalacha, and that's a chet, I believe, there. Um, um, and the H-looking letter, sort of. And then uh, and then you have um, the nu in Hebrew. And then uh, the N, and it looks like an N. Thank God it looks like an N a little bit. The second to last letter of the word, and then you have the Yod, Shalachani. And but above it on the, um, what? One, two, three, four. On the fourth floor, remember this thing has this, 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 this construction. I, I'm typifying it as like, as like having 10 floors, right? So I just, just to make it easy for you to locate what I'm talking about. So on the fourth floor, which is the second, which is the, the last word on the fourth floor, okay, it has over here, okay, um, the tetragrammaton. So the tetragrammaton appears here, right here. Right here. Okay, let me go like this. Okay, to, to cancel that out. Okay, I'm not finished yet. Thank you. All right, so it says, we looked at the Babylonian script, a form of Hebrew. 
the, the ancient paleo form of Hebrew, and we looked at English, and Jehovah sent Jehovah all across the board, guys. This is Angelo Quinones giving the glory Mwah! to the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Praise the Lord.